so here we are at Essen Spiel where they do all of the board games and all of the other games. Hello, I'm Parker. He's Joel, he's Parker. Together we are the Battle Hammer. Ahoy hoy and all that jazz. So we're just about to start setting up, except they put all of our stuff over there. So they've got to move it over here. That's silly of them. Um, but it should all be good. Um, I've got my new shiny Warhost hat, ready for some Warhosting action, running some demos, doing some things. Um, so at the moment the stand looks like this, but soon it will look different. We're already putting the floor down. Good times will be had. I'll show you an image of stuff uh, once we've done. See you in a bit guys. I wasn't going to. Uh, hey, so we're just going to show you around the cabinet we've got here. Uh, we have got the regulators, which you probably have seen before with Billy the Kid and his posse. Uh, there's Vorket looking Hermes balls with his big fat belly that doesn't look familiar to me at all. Uh, hashtag lose some weight fatty. Um, Spear apparitions at the back there, awesome looking spooky models. I like the evil hands ready for clawing your face. Uh, legendary Lucretia and Tituba, very nice. What are you doing? Just open it so I'm not getting a sheen. Eyes. Oh, thank you, Jake. Say thank you, Jake. Hello, Jake. That's Jake, everyone. I've shared a room with him before and he didn't try and touch me or nothing. Oh, listen to Echo. It's cool, right? So there we've got legendary Tichiba. Sorry, and Lucretia and Tichiba. Loving the pustules on that. Proper creepy looking with the um, lady sitting on the shoulder. Here we've got the Cowboys. You must have seen the Cowboys before. Look at Johnny Ringo's abs. He's abulous. So cool. But now we're coming down to some new stuff. Up the back there we've got the Great Thunderbird, which you've seen before. Here we've got the Soul Hunters, which are being released at this show that I will be buying because they is cool. Uh, there we've got um, Olga Warwick, the leader. I love this guy in the middle, Spellman. It's cracking stuff. Really nice minis. So much character. Um, here we've got a sneaky glimpse of the pacifiers. They are big, heavy armored dudes for the Union, but the kit also makes Confederate Terminators. <laughs> Lots of shooty gun times. So depending on what you want to play as, whether you want to play the Confederates or the Union, just depends on the gun loadout, really. I think the Union have access to grenade launchers, whereas the Terminators have these Terminator blasters that gives them lots of uh, just many shots. Oh, and what's this at the back in the middle? Oh, it's OP Creation 8. A big ass and a zombie snake with loads of cool stuff. Big servo arms, these kind of fins that are outside of it, awesome looking. Um, and this, this chick in a cage, she's not um, being, what's the word, she's not being captured, she's like guiding it and that's there for her protection. How cool is that, right? I don't know how I'm going to paint it, but I'm going to do it. Uh, here we've got the Fire Eagle, which you've seen before. Now here we've got Only God Forgives which is a new posse box uh, arriving next month, same time as the Confederate Terminators. Um, I don't know all their names yet, but we've got the uh, leader in the middle with her winged hat. She's like a Valkyrie type chick with a big whip. Sadie Walker, the new sculpt for her. Um, a proper like Clint Eastwood gal with no name type vibe on this young lady here in the middle. Um, dude at the back with a revolving Grenade launcher with an underslung shotgun. Nice. Cool looking relaxed sniper dude at the back there. Um, uh, Papa Trinity, who's like a preacher dude. Power of Christ compels you. And I forget this guy's full name, but it's Scorcher. Uh, and he's got a big old flamethrower and a jetpack. Because he's cool AF. Looking forward to getting him on the table. Um, here we've got Red Oak, half of Red Oak and the other half of Red Oak which you've seen before. Down here we've got Battlefleet Britannia, so this is going to be coming out for Dystopian Wars and these to me look like actual resins, which is 
super nice. They're not pre-production 3D prints. I will double check that. And I'll let you know. But they're looking proper nice. Not that we would expect anything less. Proper crispy. Love it. Um, at the bottom here we've got the amber clay that you've seen before. One day I'm going to use my watches. One day. But today is not that day. Uh, we've got the lynch mob with all of the um, angry mob that can also be used as civilians as well as Judge Stern who is going to be put in a bag because I don't need him. Uh, legendary Gustav Eiffel and Nikola Tesla at the back there ready to rock. Death from above, love it. I'll come the Sky Spirit and his three lovely daughters who will murder your face as soon as you look at you. Um, we've got the Portal Vanguard. If you need some portals, these are the guys to speak to. Who doesn't like portals, right? And the Hour of the Wolf Posse there as well. Then right at the bottom, we've got the Gloomberg terrain for uh, MDF set from Cradle Studios. Looking really nice. Very reminiscent of your um, kind of more time vibe. Very old worldy. Looking cool. There you go. You've got proper look at it and everything this year. Normally I, I, I forget because I'm stupid. Right, thanks Jake for opening those doors, but I'm, I'm done now. I'll just take all of the stuff out. Cheers, Jake. Ahoy! So here we are at Spiel. It's Friday. Uh, I missed out on Thursday because. Ah! Uh, um, but it's Friday. I'm going to have a little look around. I'm not going to show you my big fat head for the whole thing. I'm going to show you some stuff. For example, here we've got MicroArt Studios. They've got a bunch of scenery. MDF, painted terrain. Uh, designed for Infinity. Looks super futuristic and high tech, which is cool. Um, stuff for sale. Uh, we've also got some really cool um, hard foam terrain, which is really nice. Um, and some of it's modular, so you could have this up there, or you can put it in a little thing. How cool is that? Also, you've got some of this, which is hard foam, but also MDF. So MDF for the kind of the hard pointy bits, and hard foam for the more curved areas. Kind of like this piece here. That's really cool. I haven't seen anyone else do that. That's a great idea. Well done, MicroArt Studios. Over here, we've got something that's drawing my attention. Is it these boats? No, it's Judge Dredd, baby. Who doesn't love a bit of Judge Dredd? We've got some judges with the helmets. I'm loving this Judge Dredd versus Judge Death. Oh, we've got Lawmasters, Judge Death being all scary. Some fatties in the background with their belly wheels. And me one day, one day. I love the uh, gloss shine of the judge helmets. It just gives an extra depth. I love that. Um, SBQR, which is a roaming game, just there. And use those troops to go around and quickly recover to realign. Nice, I think so that's it's just um, early roaming against some Gauls going on. Um, here we've got a big old uh, display table for 40k. Everyone knows 40k, right? Cool stuff. We've got some Primaris Marines against some Chaos Iron Hands, Iron Silver Skulls, Iron Skulls, uh, Iron Warriors, dudes, bad guys, Vince, good guys. Got a bunch of people painting. That's nice. Getting their hobby on on a Friday afternoon. Um, Game top, sorry, We've got game toppers doing some mats and tables. So this is, just to give you a little bit of an update, this is just Hall 6 and this is already bigger than Saloon. Right. That's how big this whole thing is. Hopefully I'm going to get a, have a look around um, the other halls tomorrow. Uh, Titan Forge miniatures with lots of cool goodies. We know that you want to see the lovely miniatures. We've got Zeppelins, how cool are they? Little dwarf Zeppelins. And dwarf battle suits fighting against some chaos dwarves with big chaos dwarf robots. 
awesome source. Here we've got underwater ogres riding crocodiles. I mean, bonkers, right? Good times. Everyone likes some weird stuff. Sometimes in a naked way. Uh, Crack and War Games, they do uh, templates and maps and tokens and stuff like this as well. And uh, little bits of terrain. Oh, that's nice. Wasteland interior and wasteland walls and stuff. Cool, lots of post apocalyptic stuff. I'll definitely be checking those out later. And loads of mats for games. Crack and War Games, they've got mats. If you like mats, they've got mats. Um, now there are loads of stores like this doing second hand and new games as well. I'm yet to find um, Dungeon Mayhem Expansion, which is slightly disappointing. Um, we've got art dudes doing art with pictures and stuff, drawings, paintings. Um, here we've got Parabellum, you've probably seen them before with, I believe the game is called Conquest, which is a rank and file game. Um, there's some great unpainted stuff that you, you really want to see. Here's all the cool painted stuff, because who doesn't want to see that? Here we've got some weird alien monstery golem flesh things, which look super nasty and I love it. I mean, it's super cool, right? Get some dudes who wear blue. Let's kill those guys. I know whose side I'm on. I'm on these big, nasty looking, pointy dudes. I mean, they just look, you know, a bit, a bit normal. Over here, oh, I love these giants. Love these giants. They're really wide. I know that sounds like a silly thing to say, but so many giants are just tall and skinny. They're, they're stocky buggers. We've got some normal dudes and some big ogres. Love it. Very cool. Loving all the terrain as well. Um, oh, and they've got some painting as well going on. That's nice. Um, Modifius with all of their um, stuff over there. Up there we've got some t-shirts, because people like t-shirts and mugs and merchy type stuff as well. Sorry, sorry, thank you. Um, we've got Fallout game from Modifius. Uh, Vampire Masquerade, as well as Star Trek role-playing. Uh, this, oh, this will be the Elder Scrolls game. Uh, looking kind of cool. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Jurassic Park Miniatures game. I didn't even know that was a thing. Role-playing stuff, Shadows of Easter End. Nice. Good times, more stuff. Uh, books for sale, second-hand books. It's not to like, right? Uh, more art and stuff over there. Oh, people and things and stuff. More books, there's a go. Stephen King book, bam. You want to see that? I, I show you the good stuff. We've got some more artists over here. T-shirts, all the T-shirts. If you want, merchy type T-shirts. That's cool. We've got a 4X co-op game with lots of weirdness. I really like these, not quite miniatures, but standees. That's really cool. I think a lot of people go for miniatures, and miniatures are wicked, don't get me wrong, but that can really up the price of a game. More stuff. Loads and loads of board games. Just board. If you like board games, you love Spiel, because it's got all the board games. Chaos All Stars, I love it. That's awesome sauce. Wicked Woo. More second hand board games over there. Terraforming Mars. That's an awesome game that I keep meaning I'm gonna meaning to say I'm gonna play. Oh graphic novels and stuff. I like graphic novels, that's cool. There's Scarlett Johansson in the flesh. Live and direct. Coming at you like Cleopatra. I mean, you know, we've got some weird merchy stuff over there. We've got all of the graphic novels in the world. I think that is actually all of them. Now, if they're all, if they're not in German, I might get 
Buffy if they've got it. If they haven't, then I won't, but we'll see. There are more uh, comic books and stuff like that as well. There's Laurel and Hardy. Oh, sorry, my bad. We've got Funko Pops. Now the Funko Pop board game, tabletop game, is here, and you can use your Funko Pops in that game. We, I, who knew there was a Monopoly Fallout? Not me. That's who. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, doing a little bit of a meow. More art. Airbrush design. That's just good. We've got some cuddly toy cat things. They're cute. We've got lots of statuettes, manga type stuff with this guy. Who's he? He's looking cool. Sorry. These people looking moody. Don't know who they are. There's a chick with a wand. That's what they say. That's the, the, the dragon dragon ball dude. Go 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 go. Go somewhere. Got some cuddly, big cuddly toys. Bubble tea, because you know that's what you need. We want some bubble tea, right? Um, we've got sneakers. We've got super designed zombie Converse All Stars. They're cool. Superhero jewelry. We've got some more weird stuff up here. Oh, there's like a big Terminator Predator thing made of stuff. If you want a cane. You can get yourself a walking cane. I could do with a walking cane. I'm exhausted. I could do with someone to lean on. We've got manga DVDs. Got the back of some dude. Manga DVDs. Why not? We've got some rave stuff for raving. If you want to do a rave. If you, want, if you like raving. So we've got some more um, merchy type stuff with dudes and comic books oh we've got like a an augmented game that's cool put the miniatures on the table so the table is a tv and it's all in the in the thing that's really cool right uh, we've got some more cuddly toys and stuff over here uh, with pockies they're, they're a suite of some kind right so that's that's a thing that exists. There's a board game with little chips. Now he's gonna give him a so People fighting and stuff. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is cool, right? Oh, back of some guy. Got some terrain. Loving this. Big old dungeon terrain set thing. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, Kickstarter coming at you. More terrain for Blood Bowl, so you can have a super happy Blood Bowl time. If someone wants to buy us that, that'd be great. We've got magic cards, magic cards and sleeves. Um, Titan Forge games with a looks like a Cthulhu type evil game. Um, here we've got game toppers again. Over battle, the all war. That's a lot of stuff going on, right? I don't know what any of it means. If I could get a demo later on, I will. It looks super cool though. Thank you. Awesome. Have a great day. Woo! Freebooters fate. Let's have a little look over here. We've got an awesome kind of piratey type table. How cool does that look? Super cool, right? Oh, I wish I could play on it now. I love the really light stone, the like kind of uh, yellow stone, and the brightly coloured buildings. Really catches the eye. Here we've got some of the miniatures for it. That's no, all good. Thanks, though. And I love Free Voters Fake Stand. It looks like a proper den of iniquity full of pirates and, and people like that. Some lovely models, absolutely gorgeous. Full of character. I love these guys. Love it. Um, back to Micro Art Studios over there. 
Got some more board games at the back there, as well as uh, lots of RPGs that appear to be lot, mostly in German, which is great. I didn't even realise there was enough of a uh, old dice. Dice. We love dice. You know we love the dice. Oh, get a temporary tattoo if you want. Oh, it's like Airbrush John, that's super cool. What's this Wild West Exodus I see? Oh, it's the War Cradle Stand. Whoop, whoop. I showed you that earlier on. Uh, here we've got dust. I'm speaking to the uh, cleaner on Monday. Because we dust by Monday. She does. I love this winter thing going on. And then we've got kind of the more, I say standard is probably the wrong word, but the, uh, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Desert effect. We've got Cthulhu versus jump jet dudes and rocket pods and planes and Nazi gorilla monsters, super cool stuff. Uh, War Cradle stand, but they're also whaling, so they're selling some stuff as well. Uh, what have we got here? Fire Team Zero. Oh. It's a board game with some miniatures. Got some role playing stuff. Books for reading. Here we've got some chili, but that's all sold out. Can't buy any more chili. You run out of chili. Oh, they've got Drowned Earth. One of the Drowned Earth people. Whoop, whoop. Loving it. We need to play some more Drowned Earth actually. Chess? That's not a miniatures game. These are miniatures, they're cool. Oh wow, look at that! How awesome is that? It's actually summoning a genie or something like that. That's cool. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. Probably not very. Now, looks a bit weird there, but actually it's like a 3D image. But it's kind of not. Oh, we've got some wicked terrain over here. Awesome looking table. Like a big internal system going on. Love it. Dwarven Forge. If you watch uh, Critical Roll, you definitely heard of Dwarven Forge. They do loads of cool terrain. Oh, we've got some kobolds and a kobold and a big flying goat thing. We've got some lizard dudes. Loving it. Big sewer system. Was it two in the crocodile? I think it's an alligator, actually. That's good to know. Uh, awesome city stuff from Dwarf and Forge, as always. Yeah. Oh, you've only got a working drawbridge. <laughs> OMG, that's amazing. How cool is that? If you want one of them, you've got to check out Dwarven Forge. It's amaze balls. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Have a wonderful show. Uh, oh, old school games. Super Nintendo games, like Game Boys and stuff. Awesome. This is the bit where normally there's a shed ton of people hanging out, just having a nap and uh, getting a bite to eat. Um, and the toilets are just over there. That's where the toilets are. Uh, what else? Oh, it's more, still more stuff. Walls of Skydonia. Which has got like, catapults and stuff. Oh, and you blow stuff up. Oh, it's kind of like um, crossbows and catapults, if you remember that. Hidden Galaxy. Some cool looking models. It's like a Dryder Lady. And some big, wonderful minis. Everyone loves minis, right? Dice. Blau Games. Oh wow, loads of really weird dice. Oh, that's super cool. You've got the Seven Deadly Sins and the Seven Cardinal Virtues. That's amazing. Seven days of the week. D14. You've got countries and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. 
I mean, I don't know what I'd use it for, but it's super cool. Love it. Loving the custom dice. Awesome sauce. Alphabet dice, because, you know, you might need one of them. Can I be on the phone? Sorry, yeah. Woo! Yeah. We have the nicest dices. Yeah, you have the nicest dices. I, I love dices. <laughs> yeah, you do. We all love dice. Have yeah. a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, yeah. How much is it? They've got big foam dice as well. Ah, shit. And loads of cool dice. Check them out. Oh, we've got Exploriania. So yeah, there's two ways. So it's like an exploring some of the dice have, uh, game. Wins on That's it. cool. And then we've got wooden stuff over there, like jewelry and walking sticks and stuff. Rollmaster. Stick. Uh, Nick used to love Rollmaster. It was all about it. Awesome. Oh, we've got a bunch of T-shirts there as well. There's the Punisher looking moody. Apparently, he's a pickle. Or maybe he's in a pickle. I don't know exactly what that is. We've got some big miniatures over there. We've got some masks over here. Like goblin masks and stuff. Kind of like labyrinthy kind of vibe, I guess. I haven't even got to over there yet, but there's a bunch of people, so I don't think I'm going to go that way because I'm going to get caught up. Um, oh, we've got a mead stall. Oh, we've got a fucking mead stall and I'm off the sauce for a month. That is not cool, man. Not cool. Loads of mead. Here we have uh, Corvus Belly. They're running demos of Defiance, which is the new... Um, kind of, not dungeon crawler, but it's that kind of vibe from them. And there's an AI deck, so you play co-op. And they've got uh, new Aristea stuff, which I picked up. I've got the new map and I've got the new cards, so hopefully we'll play more Aristea on the channel as well. Got some more role-playing games. Nice. Uh, we've got more merch and stuff just there, like uh, miniature dudes and big stuff like that which is cool um, there's a game called Rapture which I think is set in a, a Christian post-apocalypse with angels and stuff which is super cool I mean there's literally all of the things I mean I don't even know what this is altar I mean that's got some cool artwork right there's a raven with an eyeball in its mouth beak which is nice Oh, we've got big old, like, Viking hats. I'm sure Straw has got one of those. We've got more dice. Oh, we love dice. Oh, we love dice. Dice, dice, dice. Dice, 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 dice. We love dice. Who doesn't love all of the dice? We've got um, Atlantis Miniatures. If you haven't seen their stuff, it's awesome sauce. We've got, like, a big Yeti there and the Hydra, which is amazing. Chimera thing. Oh, you've seen the dwarf Kickstarters. Here they are, all painted and looking awesome. Just fantastic stuff. Um, they've got more board games for sale. People just buying board games. It's almost like it's a board game convention. Oh, GameMat.eu. They've got terrain and stuff. I've seen these guys on the internet. They do maps, they do terrain, they do all the stuff. It's super cool. You've seen over there, so I'm going to go back this way. Oh, loads of weird, wonderful wooden things carved from wood. Over here, we've got dice bags all rolled up. Yeah, I, I know those guys. They, they, they do stuff. Straight out of Arkham, baby. The Thulu for the win. Um, more dice. Oh, I just love dice. I just love dice so much. They're the best thing in the world, dice. I'm probably going to end up buying some more dice, even though I don't need any dice at all. Witcher RPG, oh, Middle Earth. Well, Truth Bang, we've played some of that, not on the channel, but we've played it. Oh, getting exhausted just walking around. Books! Do you read books? They've got books. 
scale 75 with their scale colour paint range um, and loads of busts and stuff but they're all in boxes so I can't show you anything sadly but there's more of that see I don't know how well that trippy weird stuff's going to be coming out they're like spinny things and they give you a 3D image but now there it just looks really weird um, oh my god so much stuff there we've got a bunch of leather working things like pauldrons and you know cosplay type viking clothes and flintlock pistols and stuff I mean who doesn't need a flintlock a pretend flintlock pistol and LARPing gear when you're at a board game convention and loads of like medieval time styly clothes awesome source there's some books again over there tables I would love one of these tables like a proper gaming table just if anyone out there wants to buy me a proper gaming table not for the battle hammer just for me because I want it Whiz kids over here um, flotilla is one of the new hotnesses that people are buying um, as far as I know it's like a post-apocalyptic thing there's there's a big thing where people are gathering and lots of, of people are coming from parts of the world where where people are dying out and it's all post-apocalyptically uh, trying to rebuild the world I don't know how you rebuild a whole world but you know one tries uh, Vallejo with all of their paint range and stuff Just and they're doing a, a, a demo and stuff that's really cool um, Smirking Dragon I don't know what they do stuff uh, we've got Grimlord Games to do Village Attacks over there um, which is cool we've got Village Attacks I think we've played it on the channel which is super nice good times and I don't know what this is ooh it's like a sea thing with boats and there's a big monster that's cool right sorry the ever rain a dark sea exploration adventure for one to four players we've got more village attacks looking super awesome this is the new expansion on kickstarter the new awesome yes so currently it's on kickstarter wicked uh, this is the prototype of a uh, four-player expansion that we're releasing at the moment. Nice. There's two new types of peasants, tacticians and militia, new legendary heroes, new monsters and new heroes to fight against. And it's an expansion so you can play it with the old game. With the old game. It's awesome. backwards compatible entirely. Wicked. Can I take this? Please do. Then I will. Thank you. Take Have care. a great day. Enjoy the rest of your show. Available on Kickstarter now. Right now. Not later now and uh, Square Enix doing their uh, Chocobo party up if you like Chocobos ch choco choco Chocobos then yeah love it and here we are back at the War Cradle stand nearly the end of the day packing away demo tables good times there's Mr Pond good evening Mr Pond uh, looking awesome uh, so that was oh that was hall six I mean, the one hall that we're in is bigger than Salute, and there's another whole bunch of halls that I probably won't get to show you around, but I will try my very bestest. If I can get a little bit of time and squeeze around somewhere else, I will. See you later on. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Things are just about to kick right off. Uh, as you can see, not a lot of people around not a lot of people around uh, it's not open yet uh, we've got about 15 minutes until we open so I'm just gonna have a little wander around this we are currently in a hall 2 which is all about the board games about those board games no minis um, I'm gonna show you around a little bit and see what's here a lot of the stalls might not be fully open so I don't know how much you're gonna get to see but let's have a little look while I've got a chance so here we've got Gale Force 9 uh, who do lots of things they do firefly board game they do DD minis and stuff but the, the big one they do is dune which is new released out um, i managed to get a copy for uh, online um, last week i've got a game in yesterday day before had a wicked time Chay chuffin loved it it was freaking awesome firefly the game you can get all of the stuff for 170 euros if i had a spare 170 euros i probably would get it get it you know who would get it you'd get it oh they've got the uh, new 
Andorians and Vulcans for the Star Trek Ascendancy. I probably would get it, but if I'm honest, I don't play it that much. I need to play it some more. Um, here we've got Rath Skellers, uh, and they do all these awesome handcrafted, super awesome tables. Um, Poke Your Man from Nintendo. That's a game that people play, right? Poke, poke Your Mum? I'd poke your mum. Um, lots of board games. Uh, Attack on Titan, which is a game based on Attack on Titan, the comic book thing. Um, you will notice there's a lot of walls and stuff up. Game Genic Ingenious Supplies, they do... Ooh, super fancy tech boxes and sleeves and such. Ultra Pro, you know Ultra Pro. They make sleeves for pretty much everything. I might see if I can pop down later and get some sleeves for my copy of Dungeon Mayhem. Because that is a game that I play a lot and does need to be sleeved. Here we've got another kind of board game shoppy. You saw lots of these yesterday. There'll be lots of these floating around that sell all of the things. Oh, what's this? Nanny Narking. This is cool. Fancy board with some minis on. Don't know what the game's about. Oh, it's uh, Fagin and so it's Dickensian and Victorian style stuff going on. Good times. Um, Chronicles of Crime. Lots of stuff. All dice. You know me. I do love a good set of dice. Oh, it's Chessex. Cool. Ah, oh, tripods and triplanes. Love this. Looks super cool, right? Who doesn't want to see little uh, aeroplanes fighting against Martian monsters? Super cool. Massive board games like Carcassonne, everyone knows. Rescue Animals, which is a board game about, unsurprisingly, rescuing animals. That's cool. Um, Ah, War of the Worlds New Wave, I saw this on Kickstarter, I was really tempted by it. But it's getting someone to play against, because Straws and Douche Nozzle, he probably won't like it. Uh, it's set after the original book of War of the Worlds, and it's like a second assault. Um, someone else filming, that's cool. More stuff, Carcassonne. Oh, my, just, just so much stuff. I don't even know where to start. Dark Ages, Holy Roman Empire. Oh, it's like a little 10 mil kind of thing. Which looks kind of cool. Big minis. Like 50, no, probably 40 mil scale-ish. There's Hall 1 over there. Hopefully I'll get a chance to look in there this morning. Uh, tomorrow morning. As far as I know, that's just... Simon and um, Asmodee. So it's just like one company's worth of stuff. Like Fancy Flight is owned by Asmodee. I don't know about Simon, I think they probably are because they own fucking everything. And it's all these other companies that are owned by Asmodee. And they're in one fucking hall. There's a pandemic over there. I'm going to have a proper look in here tomorrow. You know what? No, let's go in here now. Let's change our mind. Because Simon have got lots of cool minis. So let's see if we can find some cool minis. Arkham Horror Final Hour. That's the new Arkham Horror game. That kind of plays in about an hour. Um, here we... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's on beside Black Page on a cool board. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the stuff from Wet Workshop. That was kickstarted a little while ago. And here we've got the new... Uh, Zombie Side 2nd Edition. Um, very similar rule set to the original one, but obviously we've got different boards and new minis and all that kind of stuff. So if you love a bit of Zombie Side, that's there. Oh, they've got Cthulhu Death May Die. Um, it should be out at some point. I know it's kickstarted, so it should be good to go at some point. And here we've got the mighty just ridiculous sized Cthulhu. That's my hand for a sense of scale. It's huge. 
Um, what we've got here? Oh, ah, Zombie Side Evolution. Which is, I think, an expansion for second edition Zombie Side. It's pretty cool. Time Stories. Oh, Black Angel. This is the new hotness. Lots of people um, getting into Black Angel. Which is super hot at the moment. Um, big old Pandemic. Like a massive copy of Pandemic. I mean, these cubes are like 16 mil size. That's the board, it's chuffing huge. The cards are like postcards. Last Bastion, what's this? I don't know, it looks cool, it's got minis, because of course it's called Mini or Not, and they love the minis. Um, I don't even know what to say, there's just so much. So if you, uh, you might have seen Black Angel, it's, uh, Oh, you're a spaceship trying to get to another planet and there's four AIs in control of the spaceship and you have to make it work between you, but whoever scores the most points wins. So it's kind of co-op, but with a winner. It's kind of nice. Um, we've got more stuff. Just, I don't even know. Like, there's just so much stuff. And this is the Asmodee shop which has just got all of the stuff. Um, Hyper limited edition stuff. They've only got like, I don't know, like 50, I think, or 100 of, um, what's his name? Uh, they've got a lot of limited edition stuff. I don't know what it all is, but there's lots of it. Oh, they've got, um, what's this? This is uh, Spirit Island, which I really want, but I don't want it in German because I don't understand German. So I'm going to get it in English when it comes out. I mean, it is out, but I'm going to try and get it in English. Loads of cool stuff. Just all of the cool stuff. More board games, more board games. If you like board games, you'll love it at Spiel, because it's all about the board games, about the board games. Uh, Keyforge. Um, I think they've got the third set of Keyforge coming soon, if I remember rightly. More, just a crazy amount of board games just stacked up. Yeah, uh, Age of Ascension is the current one, Worlds Collide is the next one, which has got uh, two new factions. Oh, this is one of the entrance doors. Look at all the people just waiting to come in. They're gonna get bombarded by, by this hot and sweaty masses. I mean, that was pretty hot. <laughs> I don't even know, like honestly, what have we got for Star Wars? There's some stuff here for Star Wars. Oh, it's just the uh, the base games and stuff. Outer Rim, hoping there's going to be expansion for Outer Rim at some point. Really liked it, but I kind of think it needs an expansion. Ah, oh, Obi-Wan release today. But, like, there's a hundred and we've already got 20 people in the queue probably buying for friends as well. I'm not going to get a chance to wait in a queue for two hours to maybe get something. But Cella V, this is very white. Queen Game, apparently Copenhagen Roll and Write is a thing that people are going to want to play a lot of. Rune Stones, that looks cool. A bit of worker placement going on maybe, I don't know. Tableau building. They've actually got multiple entrances. So there'll be someone like the south entrance and some on the east entrance and some on the west entrance. Because otherwise, everyone would just annihilate everything. No, I'm gonna go back. I know I'm wandering around a lot, but it's only because I'm scared. I'm not gonna make it back in time. There's a dead person being operated upon. Rush MD. So it's a operation style game. And there's a time limit on things. Oh, it's not operation, it's like a board game, but it's all about timing. Awesome. Have a good day.
Come but back later. I will if I can. Yeah, okay. I remember your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, War Stones is a game like castles and stuff. Like, you can't, honestly, you cannot get an idea of how big this place is. This is like seven or eight salutes all together. I mean, this stall is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight demo tables for one game, another eight for another game. Look, Catan. I mean, the settlers at Catan has been out for fucking donkey's years, and they've got a whole massive thing for it. So that, that's Hall 1. Somehow I got lost and ended up in Hall 1. This is Hall 2. Clask, which is like a kind of a clicky clacky uh, deck space game. You've probably seen it on your Facebook feed. I mean, there's what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 20 odd tables for that. Um, Lego, I'll stall a Lego, because you know, nerds like Lego too. More board games, crime novels, because you know, oh, there's more class gear, so that's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten tables. Just so much stuff. Honestly, you will not get how much stuff there is. A whole stand for indoor boomerangs, indoor soft boomerangs. Sabutio, or sorry, uh, non branded non Sabutio trip kick things. Little oh, 3D printed doodads. Merch of some kind with fluffy toys and stuff. Um, little cool game based things for stuff. And here we are back at the dice where I started out. With Holy Grail Games, which is called Museum. Oh, and you go to different museums and do stuff. Loads of Rome. Uh, t shirts and boxes of stuff, honestly. So that was maybe one and a half halls I just showed you. So, yeah, that was one and a half halls. There's still, I mean, I haven't been to three, four, or five yet. Um, because it's mental. I'm off to back to the stand before the whole thing kicks off. I'll see you in a bit. Boop. Okie dokie. So it's big head time. Um, it's me with the big with the big head. Uh, I am going to have a little look around. I'm gonna go one way down hall five, I think we're in. I'm going to go one way down and show you some stuff, get, go through into four and through into three, and hopefully you'll get to see some cool stuff. Um, just going to do a quick run through. Um, so, this seems to be much more like independent games and stuff like that. Korea Unification Road. Wow, that's the first game that I saw. How strange. Um, We've got some flicky de dexterity games called Master of the Elements. Four Elements Physical Gaming, play now! B&B Game Studio. Got some little miniature dudes. Um, Gladi Gala, which seems to be some sort of gladiator game. It's cool, like an uh, arena combat type thing. Um, we've got some e-commerce and... Oh, there's like a balancing game, that's pretty cool. So, you have to move your little things and not touch the floor. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, dexterity games for uh, stuff like that. It's cool. It's weird alchemy. Lots of, lots of cool looking cards. Rapid Galaxy. Looks cool. Um, various things. Something called Skip, which is like an abstract game with lots of kind of almost like drafts. 
how it's called. Um, another place where you can buy a bunch of stuff. Lots of cool things. Oh, loads of cool minis. Everyone loves all the cool minis because they're cool. Um, loads of stuff. I got things. I mean, I don't know what half of the stuff is, but my brain hurts now. Uh, so that's cool. There's a cube. Oh, sorry. That's cool, it's like an origami puzzle. You have to build certain shapes. That's wicked. Where am I? Alex in a tea party. Oh, that's cute. I imagine the game doesn't come like that. An outrun, you're trying to run away from a monster. Looks cool. Bee lives, game about bees. I like bees. Hello bees! Oh, I like the cute little bee things. Nice. Um, in my box, I'll be in your box. <laughs> box stuff. Oh, there's like a dexterity freaky game, like crocodile. Um, I mean, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. There's just so much. Shivery Timbers, ha ha ha, Jim Lad. Oh, games that are looking for publishers, that's quite cool. And then we've got the UK Games Expo. Oh my god, like they've got their own booth. Madness. Uh, more stuff. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, a two player uh, card game thingy. Harry Potter, Death Eaters Rising, Fun Times, Die Hard, the board game, all the stuff. Just so many things. Look at these, they're all people playing games from over there. I don't even know. Clask, Scythe, loads of stuff. Games, collectibles, merchandise, gamesquest.co.uk. I think I've seen those guys over at um, wherever it was. Uh, where have I seen them? I've seen them at the English things, so uh, Tabletop Gaming Live uh, Expo thingy. I don't even know. UK Games Expo, what I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, sorry. So here's four. Here's a bunch of stuff. More stuff. A whole hall full of stuff. It's a whole line of things. Royal Will Games. Board game expert, Dawn of the Peacemakers. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. That's a cool game where you're you're not. It's not a war game. You're trying to stop a war. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, it's hedgehogs. Big hedgehogs doing cool hedgehog things. That's cool. They can only move certain ways. Nice. Uh, Aries Games, who do loads of cool stuff. Flying machines and monster slaughter. And cool stuff like that. Um, hand source games, whoever they are. Uh, yep, stuff. Gaming games. Oh, they do uh, Tiny Epic stuff, which is cool, because we like the Tiny Epic games. We played uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies, I think, and they've got the uh, expansion for that. Um, all the other tiny epic games, which is cool. Here we've got Godot Games. They do Human Punishment. Sounds like a mean, unpleasant game, which I like. Um, uh, oh, we've got like, um, it's not broken. Oh, it's Broken Token, cool. Uh, they do loads of um, inserts, MDF inserts, for your games, so everything can be all nicely they do a wicked one, as I recall, for... Oh, they do one for TI4. Let's have a little look at that. Oh, see, how good does that look for TI4? All organised, all ready to go. You just take out your faction. 
and it's all ready, all your ships are there. That's amaze balls. I love it. If only I had money to buy it with. But then I don't play TI4 as much as I'd like anyway. Uh, loads of cool games I've never heard of, but I'm sure they're all really good. Ulanga, Metal Mania. Loads of cool stuff. Let's count the line. Oh, that's a cool thing. They've done like a use cushions to play the game with. That's awesome. Oh, excuse me. Uh, an arena combat game. Nice. Death Arena. Yes. Everyone likes death and arenas, right? Um, we've got an abstract kind of game. Looking cool. Uh, stuff for sale. I don't know what any of it is, it all looks cool, loads of stuff. If you want to buy stuff, they've got stuff here. Ah, now that is the outside world. I vaguely recognise that. So I'm going to go down this way and see what I can find. Dawn of the Oculites. Oh, they look cool, right? Uh, Zongxi. Zoom Barcelona, a game about travelling around in Barcelona, unsurprisingly. Now, that's my kind of game. Zom Battle. A game where you battle Zoms. One battle even, Wombats. Oh, there's cake, like cake bread stuff. Done on like a spiral, which is called Ungarish Specialatin Baumuk Kitchen. Sorry that my uh, pronunciation is just shite. Logistics. Oh yeah, you can um, buy a bunch of stuff here and then get it posted to your house. Save you carrying it home. Great idea if you've got all the money. Random um, tin signage to put on your house. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Ah, inserts for board games. Kemet. Oh, and these are like a phone call one, so they're a lot lighter than the ones um, made of MDF, which is pretty cool. Depending, of course, upon your personal preference. You need it to be hard-wearing or heavy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, that is a big old thing. A bunch of those games I don't recognize. Um, play TMG, that's the company. And lots of tables set up for people to play them. Cool, like book board games. Got like a racing thing, code breaking, modern art, nice. Cashier cash for a bunch of games I don't recognise again. Now, Hybelism, I think I've heard of. Um, I don't know the other ones. Uh, oh, Night Hunters, Wind of the Dunes. That looks cool, right? It's all black and white, super nice, like a tarot. Oh, they're really long cards, that's nice. Very fancy. Um, here we've got, oh cool, like proper old schooly board games, like leather cups and uh, card holders and stuff like that. That's really nice, I like that. Um, game about being possessed, a demonic card game. That's cool. Nerd Quiz video games. So I can, oh, okay, it's like a quiz and you answer questions about computer games. That's cool. Um, Jolly Thinkers. Never heard of that company. Loads of random stuff. Uh, Horrible Guild. They're a company that do... Oh, Potion Explosion. I've heard of that. That is where you collect little uh, marbles and such. I think. Could talk, but you can't hear me, so it's fine. I'm just going to keep you blathering along. Um, Carnival, up something over there, a bunch of games, just board games. You want, you want to play a board game? Here you got board games. There's more board games. Oh, and you move the map around. Oh, that's cool. Like that.
more stuff, more stuff. Just, oh, Final Frontier New Cavern Tavern. That's a good game, we like that. Um, I wanted to play, uh, I think it's called Rise to Nobility, where you start off and you're actually building your city. So it's like the same thing as Cavern Tavern, it's a bit of worker placement. Um, but rather than, uh, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Yeah, it's a bit like um, Cavern Tavern, isn't it? It's worker placement. We're actually creating the the city where they live. So it's like a prelude, prequel to Cavern Tavern. I'm really sorry, I'm not making a huge amount of sense because I'm fucking shattered and I can't even hear myself think. This is so loud. There's just so many people here. Just at the back of someone's head. That's cool, right? So let's go down, no, let's go this way. And I can go through to five. So I'm in four, and I go through five, end up in six. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll show you hall three. Oh, it's under fire. Boom, boom. There you go. Cool stuff. Hulk murder and friends. Nice. Call of Cthulhu over there from, uh, oh, what's the company? Oh, I can't remember, Call of Cthulhu, they do that. Is it Stop Eating Games? Uh, Chaosium, that's it. Let's go around this way. Wow. Oh, this is, uh, is this? Stress Biotics Token Silence. You're trying to create a brain or something by the look of it. That looks hardcore. Which is all good. Peak oil. So you're making oil and stuff. Call of Cthulhu. If you like Cthulhu and calling things, you'll love Call of Cthulhu. Oh, a bunch of games. Just more game shops. If you want to buy games, this is where you can get them. Oh, that's interesting. They've got Relic from Fancy Flight, which is actually out of print at the moment. Just all the stuff, just all of it. Just all of the things. Right, we're gonna go through to four or five. And check out this guy's backpack, because that's cool, right? Oh, it's Haribo have a stand, ladies and gentlemen. Haribo. If you like Haribo sweets, right, then you can come to the stand and just buy fucking Haribo sweets. Got a giant fucking teddy bear. I mean, if that isn't terrifying, I don't know what is. Right, so we're back in Hall 5. Oh, we've got um, ice cream. We've got uh, licorice and um, signage and posters, obviously, because they go together. Octopus, we've got some chick with a balloon bouncing around. Uh, oh, these are like kiddies games. Okay, that's cool. Um, Paradox Interactive. We're doing, oh, Vampire the Eternal Struggle. Card game coming back. That's good to know. Um, oh, Hearts of Iron, board game. Big shop and big old map. Nice. We like big maps. Oh, this is a big old map across Europe. Europa Universalis. Lots of Europe European style Euro games with cool stuff. Um, more things. Oh my god, my brain. He's melting, yeah? Just people playing games. Just fucking shit tons of people playing board games. Just all board games, all of the time. That man just passed me, he didn't see him. He tried to avoid me filming him, and I hid his face. I don't know if it was in shame, or if he thought I was going to steal his soul with my picture box. Um, oh cool, we got some like art, art 
cards. That's like a little museum y thing, that's cool. Nice. So we've got like cards through the ages. Playing cards, Arnold Schoenberg. That's cool. Nice. the eggs are, and I mean, mentally ill, I mean, crazy isn't really the sort of word we should be using at the moment, right? Uh, last level games are just over there, who do a bunch of games, Trickle Boo, Exo Mankind Reborn. Um, I mean, that looks cool, right? company it is that makes Spirit Island, otherwise I would find them and I would buy it, but I haven't seen it around. Maybe it's in Hall 3 and I just haven't seen it because I haven't seen it. Or maybe I haven't seen it because I've just missed it and walked past it. Might be in Asmodee, I'm going to have to find out who makes it and see if I can get it for dirt cheap tomorrow. That would be super cool. But I can probably only find it in Germany. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, thank you very much. Sorry. Squeezing past some people. We've got another place selling board games. It's almost like board games are super popular and everyone wants to buy them. Oh, Orbis! Sure, has got my copy of Orbis. That's a wicked game. Lots of cool board games there. Uh, Big Trouble Little China, the game. Big Trouble out of print. $100 euros and the expansion for 40 euros. So for a mere 140 euros, you too can relive Big Trouble in Little China. Mountaineers, something to do with mountains. Oh yeah, it's a big 3D mountain. Yeah, I've heard of this. That's a game. And you try and climb the mountain. It's a literal mountain. Uh, there's stuff up there. There's stuff up here. Checks the sleeves. Uh, Wormwood. Uh, if you watch Critical Role like what I do, you'll have heard of Wormwood Gaming and all of their lovely hardwood uh, dice trays. I mean, they're super shiny. You see how they shine and excite. You get a little dice tray that matches the dice tower, which is super cool. They all smell super nice. We've got Fancy dice are oh, one those. They're super nice. Super nice dice. Oh, uh, and they even do tables and stuff as well, which is wicked. I'm going to try and not buy more dice, but they look pretty really cool. I mean, you know me, I'm an orange dice collection. I've got a collection of purely orange dice. I mean, you don't know that, but it's true. Uh, so, here we are, back at the War Cradle stand, where there's Mr. Bond. Just going to close up on Chris Bond, there he is, there he is, look at his little face. And there's Jake in the background, love it. So, that was me having to wander around some of the halls. Hello. This is A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. Me, 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 me. If you love, uh, if you want to buy stuff in Europe, he's the head of European sales for War Cradle. So, he's the guy to check out. I'm going to go for a wee wee and then I'm going back to the stand. Start seeing a bit. Hopefully I'll get Hall 3 done tomorrow. So many things.